Sorry, I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready to look at tech and stuff. I'm ready. Two million copies sold worldwide. Uh, that's great. On the 29th or so. So we've had two updates since we last spoke, uh, which we've made uh, various changes to the game since then. Hi. So, but in addition to that, you know, yeah, also, Tekken's actively patching. Uh, in that time, we've marked uh, two million copies worldwide sold of Tekken Eight. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to put that number in perspective. But, Hell yeah, uh, brother! I just think that you know, well, that's a much faster pace than Tekken Seven did that. So uh, we're quite happy, and uh, it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for the support. Hi. You think I? The only thing that's going to really make Tekken 8 um, get back in the limelight more consistently is the same shit that they did back for Tekken 7. And that's going to be guest characters, man. And also, uh, I believe last time we spoke... Um, we guest characters was the reason Tekken 7 got the sales it did. It had the legs that it had. So, uh, that's still the plan, and I think we'll touch on some of those details first before we dive into... April 3rd update, huh? So... Uh, let's hear it. Let's hear about it. Hi. The job. So, 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 after they barely win a round? I want those people to be banned, not the people that are plugging. I want the one and dunners to go to jail, is all I'm asking. I want them to go to federal prison. Can we do that? I can get you their information. We can look it up. But the people that like won and done you from like a close game or will refuse to give you the points for like a full two out of three set, I want them to go to federal prison. <laughs> so, yeah, the ban itself uh, was, you know, uh, a few thousand people actually, you know, much more than uh, we would be doing in an Excel file. Uh, which and this covered you know different increments. So uh, some people just got mere slap on the wrist, you know, hey, you need to improve your behavior, and some got all the way up to you know a, a indefinite ban. So uh, it covers a, a broad spectrum there. The chotto hosok suru to, ma chatto ran de mo kikan ginti shika ennein de tini to ka ikkara aho iru kedo. <laughs> oh, no, that was definitely Harada doing an impression of somebody on Twitter. <laughs> definitely was. <laughs> I can't wait to the translation. <laughs> He said it was something in the chat. <laughs> Good. I can't wait. I can't wait. Burry, you better translate it. Alright, so uh, I've had to feel strongly about this. So I'm going to uh, be very careful with my translation. Uh, but he was saying that some people are saying oh well you probably don't just give give them a slap on the wrist or ban them just for a week or two uh, but that's not the case some people are banned indefinitely uh and you we hope that people think really closely about this because it's not just uh <laughs> automatically ban them we have to be very careful because you're taking uh away online access for players which uh, we've seen uh, not necessarily our company but there's been examples of people uh suing because of this and so we have to make sure that we have the proper evidence, et cetera, in place before we enact uh, these. Just tell them you're going to personally right. step on their balls. I will walk to your house and personally step on your nuts. Here, here's the thing. It doesn't even need to be that serious, man. It doesn't. This doesn't need to be like a risk of suing and stuff like that. Brother, just give me the points. <laughs> That's all I want. If somebody quits out on me, just give me the points. <laughs> they should be mine. 
that, that's how you fix all this. Just let me have the points. <laughs> really not that hard. But then send them to federal prison. And step on their nuts. That comes after. So I don't believe this was... Uh, I'm just translating what Harada is saying, by the way. I don't believe this was in the English patch notes, but the Japanese mentioned Aori, which means uh, to kind of like harass or threaten someone. Uh, and this can be... It's kind of broad sweeping. It can be interpreted in a manner of different ways. So it seemed that some Japanese players thought maybe that means, you know, uh, they were key charging or, or something in game that might affect yes. the opponent. Oh. That's not the case. We're talking more about uh, oh. a Tekken Fight Lounge where people are like maybe, uh, you know, stalking someone inside that space or, uh, you know, hurling racial uh, slurs or of course towards them. These are the kind of things we're, we're specific. Let's talk about what's important. People for that. But let's be real. If you key charge after the round's over... You should be charged $100. Post-round key charging should be a macro transaction. Don't tell people either. It just charges your credit card. Why is key charging bad? It's the ultimate tech and BM. It's literally the ultimate tech and BM. You key charge after a round is over when they're like on the ground and shit. Charge them a hundred bucks. But it's BM, bad manners. Key credit card, key credit charge, yeah. どっちが切断したかって、ほぼほぼ分かるんだけどうまくね、分からないようにする、ちょっと悪どいやり方って、P2Pのゲームもあるはあったりするんですよ。ただそれもちょっと我々独自サーバーえっと今回挟んで防
But that said, there are, are kind of loopholes, or we're not going to like tell you how this is done. But there are for, there's what he's saying is true. Make it much more uh, difficult to detect which side actually. It isn't just a boosting but, thing. Uh, that said, we're trying to. Uh, there, find there is an ongoing well. challenge with uh, the majority of player to or peer-to-peer -peer fighting uh, games. To detect those uh, bad instances as well. Where so, it is uh, yes, we difficult are to and, uh, we appreciate your decipher which person actually oh. disconnected. Oh. <clears throat> And this even goes back to Killer Instinct, where they had to stop using the jail system in KI. KI had a pretty ingenious system where whoever plugs or whoever rage quits gets sent to a, a, effectively a, uh, a matchmaking death island where you only get match made against other people that have also been disconnecting. So it's like a shadow dimension. The problem was good honest folks that were just playing the game would randomly find themselves in the gulag and we're like uh what what happened why am i in the gulag so again games have not a precise one-to-one -one system to decipher who actually disconnected and was it intentional Redoing the system that uh, detects. So maybe the, uh, it isn't as easy as just give me the points, uh, dude. Everyone's going to start off from zero from uh, the next update. Uh, so if you're on good behavior, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but Project L getting server side rollback call it, uh, with a middleman is probably going to help. Plugger purgatory uh, with other uh, like minded players. So he's talking about uh, it. We're going to, you know, improve those kind of uh, things for the players. He's so, talking about it. You've never had these issues on MK? To me, it was the worst on MK11. You're going to be stuck in prison for a, a long amount of time. So, the amount of BM uh, and rage quitting uh, I've in, run in into addition, also, the was the most are, in, in MK1, uh, sorry, the most. So, uh, those As I was trying to rank up in MK1, uh, it was the most. For, for My for online experience was hampered by everyone just being absolute pieces of shit. It was insane. That might not be everybody at all. Thoughts on why MK? Uh, the audience is much more casual. The audience isn't as interested in like getting better at the game. Like, like a broad stroke like fighting game audience. They're more interested in just like getting what they want and then piecing out. The, the games that you're going to run into this the most in chat is the games that have more of a casual audience that aren't interested in actually getting better, just satisfaction or removing satisfaction from you, you know? So that's why it's happening to Tekken because Tekken has sold 2 million copies in the first month. It's doing well. There's a lot of casual people playing in general. I would also take a wild guess as someone that has stayed far away from it. I'm assuming this is also a big issue in Smash Brothers. Is like bad manners, teabagging, people acting like shitheads, and also disconnecting like crazy. I'm assuming Smash Brothers was this is probably the same shit. Smash is the worst. I, I don't play it. I literally don't play Smash online. I barely ever have. Um, and everyone's saying, yeah. I guess a lot of Japanese players are worrying what this is. If you're worried about it, maybe you should be on better behavior. But uh, it's basically in the lobby uh, harassing someone via chat or, or you know, uh, continue following them around or sending them messages uh, with inappropriate content and stuff like this. So the way what happens is when you do that uh, and offend someone, then they're going to report you. And if we get enough of these uh, unique people who are reporting a certain person, obviously there's something to that. And we uh, look into that, and if the evidence is there, then they uh, they are a candidate for ban. まあ、あの、ハラスメント<笑> 
So, you know, basically, just don't be a jerk, right? Online, <laughs> and, uh, don't be an asshole. Just stop being an asshole. Report you, then uh, you'll you'll come to uh, you'll come to the top of the list. Just, just don't, don't be an idiot. Or, uh, you know, Poor a break, dickhead. Count to ten, whatever you need to do. Three, two, one, one, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? You see, they're actually being generous with their approach here. Like, they're doing their best to be like, let's get all the information possible. In my chat, if I see you being an asshole and a contrarian piece of shit, I just get rid of you. I act, the, I act like the chat room is an open door to my house, and if you're being a complete piece of shit, I just execute you, and I don't even. I don't even celebrate it. I just forget that you existed, and the only message that you had was something super shitty. I just blast it and then never think of it ever again. The best ones are like. You're like enjoying something and then somebody shows up. I hate this game. I fucking hate it. I'll just get rid of you. <laughs> like, what are you doing here? I'll make it easier on you. Sorry. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not here to read your opinion, dude. You know, if you're getting a lot of crashes, sorry. Why are you here? If you need to report to us, something's wrong with the game. I'll help you. <laughs> I'll show you the door aggressively. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of like celebrating that. Uh, if if you celebrate uh, people acting shitty with their essential removal, all it does is provoke more people to want to be removed because that's how you get attention, you know. And I don't want to do that. You effectively encourage people to act like assholes because the best way to get the attention of a broadcaster is to act like an asshole. So guess what I do, chat. I just blast you, future, so and I never think of you ever again or talk about it. Of, uh, April, uh, so that's pretty quite soon actually, uh, and so we're gonna go over the, the details for you right now. Hi, the ano, omo na kontest ma kokkara ikko ikko. April second. Shit. How the hell is it the end of March? How in the shit is Final Fantasy VII fucked up my life? I'm going to agree with Gene from the Washington Post. He said that when he reviewed the game, he's like, this game fucked up my life. It did. My life is fucked up. I cannot believe it. I still think it's like February. I'm still in mentally in February. Focus on correcting unintended move behavior, okay? So not actual balancing, just fixes, right? Yeah, to me it's still 2023. So, um, this isn't a balance update per se. It's uh, kind of fixes. continuing from... Uh, the last update where we made it, uh, adjustments. We gave that, Victor back uh, his grabs. I think it's kind of wild that, like, anybody uh, that was like taking Victor relatively seriously all dropped uh, the fucking character bonus. after he lost his grabs. Uh, so <laughs> after he lost his busted grabs, <laughs> he's like fucking gone now. I'm, I'm, I have to hunt down people that play this character to see if, like, how did his gameplay evolve? And now he's just fucking gone. I'm like shit, dude. Son of a bitch. There's way less victors now. There's way less. Yeah, I gotta like effectively watch Spooky. It's weird. So, uh, hopefully, you know, we're gonna have the the patch notes for you soon. Um, but Nakatsu is gonna show off a few of the main points for you today. Uh, you can see just a small kind of like screen capture of the uh, the volume of it, so you can get an idea of how much is changing. But uh, we're gonna go with some of the major points from Nakatsu. Yeah, I was an idiot. I, I used up forward one plus two grab with Victor way too much because it looked cool. I never I didn't use the busted ones nearly enough. I could have been in like. Tekken God rank if I did. <laughs> Just do nothing but that throw.
挙動を修正するって意味もそうだし、うんちょっとあまりにも強いっていうのも、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、私の場合は、Oh, was it only the one plus three? There you go. It was the one where he, he kicks you in the shin and shoots you three times. Yeah, that one was busted. It was hard to break. It was, an, it was an unbreakable, but it was like significantly less than a normal generic throw. そのホールドしてたボタンが優先されて投げ抜けができないっていう状態になってたんですけども、まあ、こちらは、えー、とその状態でも投げ抜けをしっかりボタンを押せば投げ抜けができない。Yeah, chat, you like these balance changes? Look at them. God damn. I can't believe it. They're deleting Leroy. He was so powerful for like a month in Tekken 7. They said they're deleting Leroy from the roster. That's crazy. Uh, we made it a little bit easier to throw escape uh, in certain instances when uh, a player was maybe perhaps for some reason holding down LP, uh, for example. Uh, then when they tried to input both punch buttons to escape, a, you know, both punch button throw, uh, it wasn't uh, responding according to how we uh, intended. So oh. That's oh, does that make throw escaping easier? Oh. Does that, does that bring throw escaping closer? Wait a minute. Frame wise, is throw escaping the same as Tekken 7? It is. Why does it feel like people get more throws off in this game? Is it just people aren't. We're watching a lot of different people play? Except the counter hit throws, obviously. He plans to the flash throws. change the throw escapes window, I guess you could say, um, uh, to be a little bit more uh, forgiving for uh, when it hits on a counter hit. Oh, oh shit. Counter hit throws are no longer so, uh, guaranteed? Let's check out some actual in game footage from the build. <coughs> Our actual, uh, he's going to be playing from the build today. はいえー、と一つ目がですね、えー、とステージギミックを絡めたコンボが、まあ、想定以上にダメージが高かったですね。This is not a huge king nerf? Yeah. えと一つはダウン状態に対して攻撃。Is that what he said? まあ、デビルジンで言うと。Yeah, after like a blocked rage art, are you telling me you can't get guaranteed throw anymore? あ、まあえー、とデビルジンで言うと、ヒートバーストもしくはヒートダッシュを絡めて、相手をダウン状態にしてデビルツイストを当てたら、えー、フロアブレイクだったり、フロアブラストが発生して、That's very different. Counter hit throws are only guaranteed on Power Crush. Okay, okay. Because throws are obviously a Power Crush. What you do to beat Power Crush is in this game. I thought it was kind of nice to see Tekken with a few more throws after they were so uncommon in Tekken 7. I don't know. I don't think I hated that. At least early on, you know? Nakatsu just mentioned that some of the spec regarding how damage scaled was not as intended, so. Uh, sometimes when you slam the opponent to the ground or some other times when uh, stage gimmicks kind of come into effect. He was uh, particularly mentioning with Devil Jin when you're doing a... Devil Twister? Ah, sorry. Heaven's Door. I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, I was just confirming. He said Devil Twister, but what he actually meant was when you use like Heaven's Door when you're doing an attack on an opponent who's in a down state. Uh, the damage was uh, a bit more than we'd actually intended because it wasn't scaling properly. So uh, the the one he just showed you uh, was what he's talking about. And so the damage is going to scale uh, properly uh, when we fix this. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's some goofy shit with scaling. For sure. Some, some characters get scaled to shit. It's really, it's really weird. And then other characters just get massive damage. It's like, whoa. This is still being figured out. 
順に、えー、よく言われてるんですけどもいわゆるまあ本当の意味でのバランス調整ですね、うん、そのコンボの、えー、とダメージが変わったりするっていうのは次回以降に行いますんで。まあ、今回に関してはそういった、えー、コンボのダメージとギミックに関する修正を行いました。ドラゴンオフが70ダメージを受けた。スネークエッジは、このキャラクターは、長いコンボを受けた。長いダメージコンボを受けた。そのことは、このキャラクターは、長いコンボを受けた。そのことは、このキャラクターは、長いコンボを受けた。そのことは、このキャラクターは、長いコンボを受けた。Oh, I've missed Tekken so much, dude. I've been in the world of Final Fantasy for so long. I am, I am, I am so excited. This is making me want to play so bad. Holy shit, dude. I legit was in love with this game. I was, it was like, it hurt me that I had to, to almost like fire up my favorite shit ever. It was painful. I was like, oh my god, dude. I've barely been able to play Tekken since like January. We'll just keep, you know, revising these for further patches as well. で、あとまあもう一つだけちょっとまあ、えー、デビューのキャラ、あずせな、皆さん気になっているとは思うんですけども、あずせなのエスプレッソアグレッシオっていう、まあ、スラッシュキックがあるんですけど、まあ、こちらのちょっと,、えー、と性能が思った以上にやっぱ強くて、対応も難しいってところで、まあ、少しだけ、えー、ちょっとそれを緩和する、えー、調整を行っています。Not show you Devil Jin, but more particularly、uh, Azucena, the, the character he's facing currently.、Um, I'm sure a lot of people are very frustrated by her.、Uh, I guess we call it a slash kick, you know, the, while running.、Uh, uh oh. Three, It's happening. Was it 3 2? 3 I believe, yeah. It's happening.、Um, which was hard to, to get around. You basically, are they going to make stuck, it、right? actually like normally sidestepable or something? They're probably going to make it way more linear, right? Or a high, high? Damn. If they keep it high, oh my god. So basically, what we're going to do with this is、um, we're changing the properties so that when the first hit, the knee,、uh, doesn't connect. Then the follow up attack,、uh, it just whiffs, right? So、uh, it should be easier to, to go around. And then also, the active frames of the, the move have also been、uh, decreased by three. So, you know, if your, your back's on the wall or something like that,、uh, some of these really kind that of should be、uh, sidestepable. circumstances should be alleviated. Yes. So, if Azusen is running at you now, You don't have to just hold it. You can like micro, you can like flash duck it or some shit. Especially if you flash duck the first hit, you know? So, you know, basically up until then,、uh, people just had to. Oh kind of my like god! Step and then duck, right? And it was the time was quite、uh, strict on that. But now we've changed it so you just have to、uh, evade the first hit. Like this. Before, you know, even if you evaded the first hit, the second hit would still.、Uh, so they just made it way more sidesteppable. There you go. It's actually kind of hard to punish still. Was it sidestep right? It's not necessarily a balance update per se, but it's、uh, fixing the move.、Uh, which in, as result, okay, so they're doing what I, what I was thinking they would do. They're making it much more linear. Maybe both sides? At least we're in back turn, but she's pretty far away. Please wait for the full patch notes、um, later on. He's just only showing、uh, a few examples today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. That's something, dude. So obviously, well, it's all being. This move was、uh, was dominating this game. Tekken's official、uh, SNS accounts when the patch notes are ready. あの最近ちょっと忙しくて達者さんのこういう放送見れてなかったんですけど、これちょっとコメント取りたいです。Yeah, it's still going to be good if it lands. 細かい話って細かすぎる。それともこういう情報をもっと聞きたい。ちょっとそれは分かんなくて、僕、実験的にちょっとやらせてもらいました。結構細かい話をしてるんだけど、もっとこういうのやれなのか、ちょっと思えば。いや、when is Evo Japan? That's coming up soon, right? 
Harada has just uh, wanted to ask everyone watching today, and I'm quite uh, curious as well. Uh, is this what you guys are, are looking for? I mean, not not the the balance adjustment, but like we're going into a lot of a lot of fine details here. Is this something that you guys want to hear more of, or? Uh, yes, I think it, this is you know, more, this is the um, audience of people that look for shit like this. Uh, basic stuff is what you're after. What you want? Right, breaking down like how this works and like showing it off and shit. Is this, you, this is literally the audience for it. From a general marketing perspective, it might not be like interesting, but for the two thousand people that are watching here, yes, this is literally what we're looking for. Show us how the game's changing, and then show it to us. <laughs> you have to understand, Chad. The reason he's asking that is because when you present information from like a game, you have to think broad spectrum and not just people that really know how to play it. So they're wondering okay, if this well, isn't interesting. You guys are interested in. Uh, maybe we'll have some kind of uh, appearance like this with. Nakatsu they're wondering if this is just like lame and shitty. And people just want to see new costumes, right? Just show me new costumes. Show me new colors, like or something, whatever. That, or, show me, show me Eddie. That's all I want to see. Uh, sorry, we're not, uh, we're not like over the top. And <laughs> Where's Anna? Uh, <laughs> we had a lot of, lot of stuff going on with the game, trying to give you guys the best experiences we can. So, uh, a lot of long hours, right? But. それの方にイエス。オッケー。ネクストスライド。じゃあ、戻ってきましょう。はい。ネクストスライド。えっと、次の調整。はい。え、ま、1.03が次なんですが。ああ、let そうですよ。ネクストスライド。ですね、打ち合わせできてないのバレるからやめて。忙しくて。やめてちょっと時間なかったらバレるから。違う違う、どうなんかそのだいぶ前の話。Guys, these this, this information is very hard to read. Why is it so small? Sorry, I'm just trying to get more clarification because Japanese can be very big, vague. Um, so we're going to go into more details. This is just, we're not finished with uh, the update information. So uh, please stay tuned. We're going to keep uh, uh, updating you guys with this info. This character sheet for ants? SNS見てる。みんな、ユーザーとか作ってるのもね、カーテンとか。はい。これとはまた違う。公式が知らない。ああ、そうです。使用率の集計は多分ユーザーの皆さんできないんじゃないかなと思います。はい。まあ、我々
the one at the bottom in red is effectively the people that have made it to Tekken God and above. The blue portion is just, you know, overall, uh, it's not broken down into ranks or anything. This is just overall character usage uh, across the globe and across all Tekken ball shit, right? With the red, あの、数です。SNS crazy that Law and Paul aren't even in top 15. The bottom is actually if you look at it uh Tekken God and above uh only that's uh what the character usage looks like for the red portion. So uh, Vince is up there. A lot of people on uh, SNS kind of doing their own by looking at the individual rankings and, and doing their own collection of the data, etc. Uh, but this is our official uh, data and what it looks like uh, from our side. Oh, did I say Vince? I meant Victor. <laughs> I have been playing Final Fantasy VII. で、これにあの勝率のデータとかも合わせると本当にバラバラになっていくので、ま、そういったデータをま、日々そのチューニングチームが見たり、その No Lars made it to top 15. Twitter in top half of the characters in the game. ご意見をとかも目を通しつつ、ま、いろんな大会の結果などもso you can see that you know it's not so clear cut as this character's OP, everyone uses them and wins, right? Uh, you can see quite a, a different uh, data usage here between uh, the whole Tekken population and then, you know, above Tekken God. Uh, and as such, you know, we want to make sure that we're tuning the game right, so we do actually break the data down into fine details like this. Uh, also, uh, all of us looking at uh, SNS to see what, you know, the top players are saying and what, you know, your average just uh, fan of Tekken is saying and try to get a lot of different data points uh, to uh, use in our decision making. It's crazy how Fang is not even in top 15 in general usage. Only in high rank. ものすごいトップ層のプレイヤーの Yoshi has no line because Yoshi in high ranks is below. Oh, no, Yoshi should have a line. You're right. <laughs> they forgot Yoshi Mitsu's 13th place line at the top. You're totally right. It should be pointing over to the lower than 15th. Yoshi Mitsu doesn't deserve a line. A lot of kings that don't make it to higher rank. Well, that makes sense, right? King is the ultimate Tekken casual character, always has been. That used to be Jin, but I think that still lines up. Reina is just mad popular. And then King and Jin immediately after. And here's the crazy part. I'm actually surprised Jin is at top three, considering that just overall his popularity has not waned he's still mad popular i'm talking about like casual level he's still extremely popular and in reality he's he's actually kind of hard to use in this game he is the main character don't get me wrong but compared to the other absolute wild and insane bullshit heat moves and everything that the other characters do he's not really that nuts
<laughs> Damn, is that right? Kazuya didn't even make it into top 15 in higher ranks? Where's Kaz? So, uh, I'm just complaining to Harada that he talks too long and you guys don't speak Okay, now Kaz is in lower than 15th in higher ranks. Right? So what we're just basically talking about, as you can see, this is just one point of data. Uh, and so we just want to make sure that people don't talk about uh, balance in, in just one perspective because there isn't just one. You can see that uh, perspective changes if you're a beginner, intermediate player, and if you're, you know, a uh, Tekken World Tour competitor, etc. So it's quite different. So it's very important to notice that we take uh, both, you know, uh, these kind of subjective data. Yes, you don't uh, balance fighting uh, games only on. Data, both. So, you don't balance course, fighting you know, games only on the upper echelon. Because we realize that maybe you don't feel the same way. There's more subjective things like this character's too That strong, is not the answer. <laughs> That's uh, never been the answer. The example of Tekken 7 that people are quite familiar with. If you look at Akuma uh, in the previous game, uh, the everyone why was because the upper echelon so strong, uh, the upper echelon would lead you to believe people that, that are playing the game represent win, such right? a small but majority the, so, i'm sorry the, such a small minority of the actual player base that, uh, where if suddenly a was, character is like popular and good was like 40 something and, and it's like cases, oh they're really good at high level so, but they're kind of like you know sitting in the middle of usage you're gonna fuck over the people in the the casual middle of usage of their character that seemingly might not need we we do have to listen to all of the crazy balancing and touch-ups maybe doesn't need that so we try to keep a good balance uh, Sometimes and, some characters that are like extremely this, good in the game you can kind of get an idea have like a higher execution. Take to actually get so that character is like data, only good uh, when you get to a certain level. Sometimes that's the case. Decision. So that's why it's taking a, a, a bit of time, or more than you might uh, want. Uh, it's not as much of like characters a, busted. A, please a fix game, job. you know. Yeah, Feng's in actually like a pretty good spot right now, right? Feng's in a good spot. A lot of people play him at high rank, but at lower ranks, he's like not played that much. But there's here, here's the crazy part. There's there's a lot of other shit to consider there too. Character popularity, not based on gameplay, is also a big thing. Where it's like, oh, well, how popular is the character in general? Why is King? predominant in lower ranks and a little bit in higher ranks is it a popularity thing it, it, the, the balance aspect of it also has to take that in consideration we want to make some unpopular characters more playable and then the third update like you see right now there's a lot to it and then we'll have Iwo Japan. So we're talking about balance, like Nakata was mentioning. Uh, the April 2nd one is just to kind of fix stuff that was unattended, where uh, the general, where everyone talks about a game balance, uh, balancing update, uh, that's what's really going to be uh, what we're doing for the, the post Evo Japan one. So you can see it penciled in for May currently. <laughs> Uh, that's the one that you guys are going to really see as a, a big uh, balance update. Damn, that's wild. We're already going through big balance overhaul, big roster balance overhaul within four-ish months? I wonder if that'll take go after systems too. Heat rush, all that kind of shit. So, just to be clear, um, the stuff that Nakatsu was showing you, just a few examples of you know the Devil Jin stuff, and uh, also Azusana's, uh, you know her her slash. Uh, that's going to be fixed before Evo Japan. So those four pages, we didn't show you the, all the details yet. Uh, we'll release them as soon as possible. I'm that's curious. the stuff that's going to be done before Evo Japan. So what we're talking about now is post Evo Japan, we're going to have a much larger, more intensive uh, balance update. Yes. And... I'm just going to show you a little bit about the text. This is from the patch notes. I'm just going to show you a little bit about the text. But... It's not just about the balance. Oh, that's cool. Yes. So um, we know this is a lot of text, a big wall of text here, right? Uh, but it's not just about uh, kind of fixing up some of the moves that weren't as intended. Uh, we're also kind of, uh, you know, polishing some of the features of the game as well. Yes, 
Yeah, finally a quit button in the menu. It was always weird. え、ステージセレクトランダムにした時にえっとランダムに選びましたよっていうのが表示される。もうじゃあったりとか。あとま、もう1個は前回あの説明したんですけど、スチーム版の方でメインメニューにあのゲームを終了するはいボタンを追加
髪型とあと今 Yeah, but the cyber pack are actually brand new costumes, you know, customized costumes. サイバーサングラスみたいな。全身の。Yes。はい。三つのアイテムで構成されていて、えっとかついろんなキャラクターが。えーカスタベズカのいろんなキャラクターがまあ着れる着ることが。The chick looks like PNO3。まあ今までテッケンショップはえっと固有のいわゆる固有の服コスというものをえっと。Oh, oh, it's for all characters. You don't have to buy them per character. ちょっとまた毛色の違うアイテムになりますので、ぜひえっとシャツ着たりはい。やるすべてない。That's my response. ぜひあのちょっとそういうものも楽しんでいただけたらなと思っております。And some of the cool stuff with the the cyber uh, pack there is that it consists of uh, you know hairstyle. No, this uh, wouldn't be free. Kind of cyber it's not free. Sunglasses almost, and then uh, this is going to cost. This is going to cost Tekken so coins. It's going to cost money. With a variety of different uh, cast in the in the lineup, and also kind of mix and match the parts as well. で左下に左下にこれエディですかね。エディの小さいけどはい小さいけどエディのアバターが39.99 What what should that cost chat What should the cyber pack ということは cyber pack one and two cost ちょっとまあ次のスライドに行けば答え I mean in reality free In reality, ten bucks little small element on the screen I'm gonna say five bucks maximum Caparista. That, uh, Realistically, I'd say three.、Uh, so that's a good transition into the next slide and the next portion. Considering it's like customized item, it's not like a big premium yeah, costume. For all, for the whole roster, yeah, it's a customized item, you know. Free ninety nine. I mean, in 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 a in, in a true reality, yes. ここで。テンション、ちょっとテンション上げて。テンション高めに。クライトで。あれですか。はい。疲れてんだよね。ごめんなさい。あのね、あのエディのちゃんとキャラクターのトレーラーを用意しましたんで、ぜひこの結構気
Oh my god. I can feel Kenny losing his mind. Early access? Damn, dude! He's out in a couple days? April 1st. Wait a minute. Is that a joke? Cool. Very cool. Congrats, Kenny. He's out soon. えっと、さっき最後エンドスレートでえっとPDTえっと、4月5日にリリースになります。so uh, just keep in mind, this is the general access, so you can see from the slide, that's uh, April 5th. Uh, I believe that's the Japan time. If you're in California, you know, uh, Pacific Daylight Time, that's the 4th. Uh, but that's the general access. So the early access is actually the 1st or the 2nd, depending on your region. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be playing Eddie Gordo chat, but I'll definitely be fighting against Kenny. Me and Kenny will get plenty of matches, that's for sure.